welcome back. Today I am here with my husband because we just got back from a fantastic trip from Disney World, as they all are, mm -hmm. and um, we stayed at Port Orleans French Quarter, and this is the first time either of us have stayed there, so I thought I would have him here because he can um, also contribute his thoughts to doing a bit of a review. Yeah. So we have now stayed at um, Coronado Springs, Port Orleans Riverside, and Port Orleans French Quarter. So when it comes to moderates, when it comes to moderates, yes, plenty we, of other places. Yes, um, just are there any moderates left? Caribbean Beach, Caribbean Beach, which right now is a construction zone. Yes, I was going to say a war zone, but so a construction maybe, zone is more accurate. Yeah, so maybe when that's done, maybe we'll check that one out just to say we've done all of them. Right. Okay. Um, but for now, we have only done the three. So where does Port Orleans French Quarter rank for you in terms of the other moderates? So, Riverside and French Quarter are probably tied for first. They're really part of the same resort in a way. We can talk about that. And then Coronado Springs would be second. second. I did not care for Coronado Springs. That's not to say it was like bad or um, like we had a bad experience. We definitely didn't. I just didn't, the th I didn't prefer the theming. Um, and I didn't like that there were not really very many trees, um, which so I So when you say you didn't prefer it, you don't mean like, if somebody told you, you can go to Disney World for free, but you have to stay at Coronado Springs, you wouldn't say no. No, um, I would <laughs> not say no, but I think um, I would rather stay at, I'd probably rather stay at Pop Century than Coronado. Really? Even though that one is a value. Really? Um, but I would rather stay at Coronado than any of the All-Stars. But anyway, um, there just, there wasn't a lot of trees and I think that really adds to it. I think a big part of the values is there's not nearly as much landscaping and that's kind of what we experienced with Coronado. So anyway, um, getting a bit sidetracked here, the purpose of this video is French Quarter. Um, I would agree I, that the French Quarter is probably tied for first with Riverside. Um, Riverside might be just a hair, like a half a step above French Quarter for me because Riverside has um, more than one pool, whereas French Quarter only has the one pool, aside from a hot tub. Um, and they do also have like a splash pad area for really little kids, but in terms of actual pools, they only have the one pool with the slide. But it is not square around, it's kind of a weird shape, like goes like that mm -hmm. um so it wasn't nearly as big of an issue in terms of having kids everywhere that i was expecting because we typically will go to a quiet pool just you don't have like kids doing cannibals or you know whatever when you're when you're in the pool um but it wasn't nearly as big of an issue as i had expected um so theming what did you think of the theming it was cool um we've been to new orleans and it was recently we were just there in march mm -hmm. um and it was definitely, they did their research. It seems authentic, except for cleaner and more Disney-ish. More family friendly. More family friendly. But as far as like the look of the buildings and the decorations and yeah. um, the music and everything. The building seemed um, almost more Garden District-y to me. Um, well, it was a little like, French Quarter. A little it was like the French Quarter in the Garden District. Like the yeah. buildings looked like the buildings along the French Quarter, yeah. but obviously it wasn't like in the middle of a city, so it felt more right. like Right, they had a lot of trees, which we've determined I like. Mm -hmm. um, before I had gone to New Orleans, I had seen the pictures and we'd just gone to French Quarter for um, beignets, which we'll get to. Um, but I was kind of thinking, um, it seemed more value resort-ish in terms of like garish, large, in your face statues kind of things because of These the water slides. Yes. The saxophone. Yeah, the alligators. It's super hot in here. Um, the alligators that are like on the road toward the pool and stuff. But now having been to New Orleans New Orleans, um, it's totally appropriate. It's not like cheap like I thought it was. Right. Um, there may be a statue of an alligator playing a banjo in New Orleans. There might be. That's a true story. That would not surprise me. Um, it's a, it's the smallest Disney resort, so the French Quarter is the smallest Disney resort, so they 
don't actually have a preferred building because it's really not necessary. We stayed in building two. On the third floor, they were able to accommodate my request of a room on the third, a non-adjoining room on the third floor. Mm -hmm. We had a king bedroom. It was um, on a corner, which was nice because yes. then you get two windows instead of just one. Even though when you're at a moderate, the first thing you're going to do is close the curtains on your window right. because the walkway goes right past your it's, giant windows. Yeah, so values and moderates open to the outside. So, which means you have a walkway going right past your window. So because of that, are you gonna leave the windows open? I mean, you inadvertently, when you're walking by rooms, if the window's open, you're looking in you're the like, rooms. Like, I mean, you don't like, mean to be- their room is messy. Right, it's not like we're like peering in. Um, <laughs> you know, but it's weird. You see but... right into right. You're walking literally right, and the window is like it goes from like the floor all the way up, right? So <laughs> it's, it's a pretty big window. Yeah, it's this huge window, and well, you're and gonna have the curtains closed. The like whole I time. said, that's all values and moderates. So mm -hmm. it's that's not a knock on French Quarter, but that's just something to think about when determining what your view is. Right, um, who cares? Your view is gonna be curtain. Most likely your view is going to be the curtains. Um, now I know some people have said that they'll put their chairs from the room out in the hallway and like hang out there, have a drink or something like that. Um, to That's kind of weird. To me, to each their own, I guess. As long yeah, as they're not in the right. way. Um, to me, I think of it more not a view, but more like your location. Um, you know, if it's a water view room, your room is obviously by the water. In which case, you know that that's that's more important to me than the view in the case of a value or moderate well, because your curtains are closed. Yeah, so we had, it must have been a water view room, right? Because you could see the Sasagulu River from yes. our room. And the benefit to that wasn't so much the view, but it was it was quiet because it was away from the pool and it was it kind was. of isolated from um, the walkways and things like yes. that. Yes, um, and on the third floor also obviously helps. Mm -hmm. um, I always request for us personally um, a room on a higher floor and a non-adjoining room because those are going to be quieter. Now we did um, obviously have some walls that shared, we were on a corner so we only had two, we would have had two walls that shared a wall with another room um, and we did not hear anything no. from them the entire time. We could hear like if they were in the hallway a little bit but um, yeah, kids, not very kids much. running past the room. I heard clomp, that clomp, once. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Like that was the only thing you, you're going to get that anywhere. And I only heard that once. Mm -hmm. um, and I am an extremely light sleeper. I do use a white noise on my phone. But even so, this was probably the quietest um, Disney trip we have ever had in a hotel or a hotel. I mean, it was quiet. I was really very surprised. It's pretty rare if I don't complain about the noise in a hotel room. So, um, light sleeper. Yes. Two thumbs up for that. That was awesome. Yep. All right. What else? Um, the room was nice. Hardwood floors. Yeah, the room was nice. Uh, okay. Is it I really mean, hardwood? All... I don't know. But there were hard no, floors, no carpet. It was like laminate. But... Um, they were recently redone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the room looked nice. All the rooms in moderates and maybe even values, for the most part, have the same floor plan. So they have the, um, like the toilet and the shower and a little room off to the side of a bathroom area, which is separated, which has two sinks and a closet area and then is separated by a curtain. The values the, and moderates don't have an actual closet. It's just like, like you said, a closet open. area. Yeah, like right. a curtain rod, like next to the sinks. Yeah, and then there's a curtain that separates the, like the sink, like getting ready area from the sleeping slash dining room slash yeah. <laughs> We'll put some area. pictures in. Yeah. Um, so, Show we, you what we're doing. We will, huh? I'll find them. I don't know how to put them in. I'll find them. Um, but anyway, he speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that part was pretty standard. Um, you could tell it was recently redone. The bathroom floor was tile, which I'm really weird about bathroom floors. Like tiny tiles, it, it's really, really gross to me. I, I don't even. Of like the mold that gets in the grill. You can't tell me you like. There's no way you can clean that that thoroughly. Um, there were modern touches though. I mean, like you could tell the fixtures were new. The, the shower. The was shower new. had like subway tile very in it, clean. which is kind of a yeah. Very very um, clean. Which is kind of a newer look, and it was nice. Oh, they had the. Um, this was our. I believe this was our first Disney experience where we didn't have the. You have cat hair on your face. Um, where we didn't have the individual bottles of shampoo, conditioner, body wash. We had an individual bottle of body lotion was, and yeah. a bar of soap by the sink. But um, in the shower, we had the larger bottles of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So those three things were in there. 
Um, How long has Disney been doing that? That's the first time we've had it, but like that's been a well, thing for a while. Well, like. they've been redoing the rooms. Like some of them yeah. have, have had them for a while, but when we were at, um, let's see, when we were at Riverside in February, they did not have them, in, at least not in our room. Um, but I know a lot of people were very um, concerned, Leary, I'm not sure exactly how, what you want to call it, um, regarding having these because they don't trust what the guest previous to you could have done to it. But the way they're, they're locked, locked you cannot do anything. You, yeah. The housekeepers have to open it with a key and then they refill it. Um, so there's nothing, people were worried about there's a lot of the previous guests that that, like no. spitting in them and putting nair in them and like, you can't do it. I wouldn't worry about no, that. No, you can't do it. It's it's locked. That you cannot open the containers. Um, I'm not sure. I would I would suspect you could probably request from the front desk if you wanted an individual bottle. Um, we did not do that because we were totally fine with what they had. But I would imagine that's also an option. So um, food. Food was good. They have a food court, um, like it's, all the moderates do. It's obviously. The size and of the values. the size of the food court is um, in is rural. What's the word I'm looking for? Corresponds to the size of the resort. So the Riverside food court is way bigger than the French Quarter food court. It's uh, that was still well. The sun is shining in now, and it's like messing with my. Um, well, he has two sides to his face, so we can keep going. Yeah, um, yeah. This I gave them. Of, I gave them the update. This won't be the best looking video, but. Um, it's not small. The food court there is not. No, it's small. not little. There's it's plenty just... of place. We always found a place to sit. There's plenty of room to move around without like stepping on other people. And um, what would you say? Is there like four um, like restaurants? I don't know. You're gonna want to yeah the in little there. stations. There's like four of them. Four or five, then, something like that. There's like um, like eight places you can pay if they have them all open, right? I think or no four, four, four. Um, you know they have the drink station and condiments in the middle, and then they have tables around, and it's nice. Um, but beignets. Yes, you can get beignets. So you can, they come in and they're Mickey they shaped, Mickey which is shaped super fun. Beignets. Um, you can get them in sets of three or six traditional beignet style with powdered sugar on top, right? Then calm down. You can also get dipping sauce with them and you can get caramel, chocolate, or strawberry. We got caramel. Amazing. Highly recommend it. You can get beignets with ice cream um, at Scat Cats, the lounge bar area in the lobby. They also, I saw a sign, we did not try this, but I saw a sign for this by the gift shop. Um, they sell beignets with a tiny bottle of like Kahlua or Bailey's or there's one other option in each of them. I mean, it's just, they're really into the beignets. So I really recommend them. Um, yep. Breakfast was good. Breakfast was good. I had, um, they have a breakfast flatbread, which is probably what you'd expect. It's a flatbread with, I think it's got scrambled eggs, peppers, cheese, peppers. And aioli. Yes. I had that one day. It was a smidge, just the tiniest bit spicy for me, but I mean, I want like really not spicy, totally mild, bland food. Um, but I could, I could handle it. It was a little spicier than I preferred, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's plenty to choose from. There's authentic New Orleans food. There's authentic the pancakes. Yeah, or uh, yeah, I guess it's authentic New Orleans food. But then there's there's just a lot of choices. Like you said, there's four different like restaurants, stations you can go to in the food court, and you'll find something to eat. Yep, I got um, for pancakes. They have regular like plain pancakes. They have blueberry. They have chocolate chip. Um, and then you can get like a blueberry topping to put on there. Um, they give you they have little cups of syrup. But then when you go to the condiment station, like by the drinks and stuff. They have small um, containers of butter and Smart Balance, um, butter alternative, I guess. And then they also had bottles of sugar-free syrup there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, laundry. We also, we oh, did yeah. do laundry once while we were there. They have laundry facilities on the other side of the Marty, um, of the building that Marty Groggs is in, which is the pool bar, bar slash restaurant. Um, and we, we did do laundry there. By we, I mean, he did. I mean, I No, we did up. it together. I it was, um, yeah, and doing laundry at Disney, we've done it a couple times now. It's a decent experience because um, it uses your credit card. 
I don't know. This is you don't probably, have to bring like, a bunch of coins. Yeah, we have like we live in a suburban area and we have like laundry in our house, so like maybe this isn't news for a lot of people who use laundromats all the time, but. Um, all of the machines are connected to a central pay station where you swipe it and you use your card and you can um, take care of everything there. They said they had a way, like didn't we read on the Disney website that there's a way for the thing to text you when your load is done? We didn't figure that one out, but we just, well, we, it, wasn't, we just it doesn't matter. You just set a timer on your phone and you go back. Right. But um, it was 30, I believe it was 32 minutes. For, something like for that the for the wash cycle. and then it gave you an hour for the dryer, which I went down early and and it was three dollars a load, correct? For each? Something like that. I don't know if the that's the wash is three dollars right now. I think the dryer was different, but it was something like that. I mean, it was roughly around that. It's not yeah. like it was and super expensive. Doing laundry at Disney World, I mean, it's it's not that bad of an experience. It doesn't take that long. Um, he was super against it the first time I suggested yeah, it. But it's not a big I mean, think of the clothes you're wearing there. You're probably wearing like dry fit. Um, if you've listened clothes. to my videos, you are. Yeah. I recommend um, it. So it's not like you're like hopefully washing all this complicated stuff that you then have to iron and like pre and dry clean only. Stuff. Um, so you can do it like one day, throw your laundry and go lay by the pool. It's located right by the pool at French Quarter, so that works out really well. Go, you know, halfway through, go change it, throw it in the dryer, go back to the pool, bring your laundry back up when you're done in the pool. Um, it's not a big deal, and it saves you room on in your suitcase so that you maybe don't have to bring an extra one and pay the baggage fee, which is like $25 each way. Um, and it's nice to travel light. And I don't dry most of my clothes. Um, I don't know, women's clothes seem to shrink more than men's. I don't get it. Maybe it's just more noticeable because women's clothes are more fitted. But um, because I was, I brought exclusively dry fit clothes with the exception of like pajamas and socks, whatever. Um, it, they dried super fast. So the shower has one of the retractable clotheslines. I brought clothespins just in case I needed them. Um, I don't think I actually needed to use them. Um, and I brought extra hangers. You could probably call for extra hangers. I'm sure they would. But I have, um, I got some super flat huggable hangers. Um, we brought those just to help hang some things up if we needed to to dry. Um, it, dried, it dried super fast. In terms of laundry detergent, I... Um, got online and again I'll see if I can keep talking this will be annoying to viewers but I can't handle this brightness there we go okay um I got these laundry detergent sheets so it kind of looks like a dryer sheet but it's a laundry detergent sheet and we use those and it worked worked just fine didn't have to worry about bringing any liquid um and then we also packed a couple of dryer sheets so it was all dry so we totally could have done it if we only had a carry-on um, and it, it wouldn't have been an issue. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of, that was a new experience. Do you ever do a video on doing laundry at Disney World? I think I have actually. I think actually. you might. If you haven't, that'd be a good one. Um, this is supposed to be our Port Orleans um, French Quarter review though. So what else? Transportation? Oh, um, I was gonna talk about the running trail. Or yes, talk the, about the running trail. That so, was good. yes, we ran four times while we were there. Um, it was about two and a half miles. Normally at home we would run we would run closer to three, but given all the walking we were doing, we didn't want to. I mean that's a little ridiculous. So we did two and a half miles. Um, there is a pathway that connects Port Orleans French Quarter to Port Orleans Riverside, and we did a big loop, and then um, we ran around Old Man Old Man's Island on on the Riverside side, um, and then came back, and that was two and a half miles. It was great, it worked out really well. One time we actually stopped in one of the Riverside buildings to refill our water bottle with ice. We brought a, our running water bottle from home. Yeah. That worked out really well. Um, we ran early in the morning, lots of people running. There was, lots of people, there was yeah. a lot of people running. Um, and actually, oh dear, actually. I guess by lots we should specify a dozen. Yeah, it wasn't, my point is like, it wasn't weird. I mean, we went early in the morning, we would get up at like 6.30 <coughs> and then run at, before we and it also wasn't so crowded that it was annoying to run. Right. And it's not like we didn't feel like we were an inconvenience to other people like we were in their way. No, not at all. Um, oh, the beignet fun run on Sundays. Now, oh, yeah. we did not do this because it was at 8 in the morning. And we, and were, we didn't know about it until I, we were setting up. Well, I knew about it, but I forgot. But it, we were going to be at the park anyway, so it didn't work out. But at Port Orleans French Quarter on Sunday mornings at 8, they have a beignet fun run. Um... I don't know any more information about that, but I just know that they have it and they were setting up for it um, when we were coming back from our run on Sunday. So that is another option 
as well. They have Google it for more info. Yes, Google for more info or Bing it. Um, <laughs> they now values and moderates don't have fitness centers, so that's why I bring this up because there is the trail um, if you want to do that exercise. Yes. Transportation. Yes. Transportation um, is is boat. If you want to go to Disney Springs or Riverside or what Saratoga Springs, for whatever reason, but boat to Disney well, Springs. Well, I don't think you can go to Saratoga Springs from. I mean, you would just go to. You just Disney if you Springs want to go to Disney Springs, you can take a boat. If you want to go anywhere else, you have to take the bus. Yes. There are two bus stations. One services Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. The other services every place, not those two places. Um, they do have bus boards with the times in the stations. I think it's like every, a big TV screen. Yeah, I think every resort has those at this point. That's probably old news. But they also have um, the bus times, or they're trying to put the bus times in the My Disney Experience app. Um, Sometimes it worked. Which, that can be a whole nother video. A for ideas, F for execution. Sometimes there would be a bus time there. Sometimes it would say buses run every 20 minutes, which we already know, that's not news. Um, I'm but, gonna say maybe a C or a D for execution. Oh, okay. Um, Still not great. <laughs> you're, you're generous. Um, <laughs> Still not great. Um, yeah, and, and the you know the bus is what it is. It uh, takes about 15, 20 minutes to get anywhere once you're on the bus. We went, um, we drove everywhere except the Magic Kingdom because driving to the Magic Kingdom really stinks because you have to park at the Transportation and Ticket Center. And then you which end up is, taking some other form of transportation. Which is quite possibly anywhere. the world's largest parking lot. Um, yeah. and it might be. I mean, I'm not even kidding. It's enormous. We ran through there when we did the Disney Princess Half Marathon. I don't know how long we ran through there for, but I'm pretty sure it was over a mile. It was a good chunk of the race. It was. <laughs> was running through the, the it was parking huge. lot of the Magic Kingdom. Yes, it was, or the Transportation Ticket Center. It was huge. Yeah. But anyway, um, so we we only took the bus to the Magic Kingdom, but when we did, we did not make any stops on the way there. We did not make any stops on the way back to any other resorts. We just went straight to the Magic Kingdom and then straight back. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal would be if you went to any of the other... If they share buses. If a lot they of share times, buses, a lot of times you'll stop at another resort along the way, or you'll be the second stop, and the bus will be partially full by the time it gets to you. The buses were empty when it we usually, were going to Magic Kingdom. But it will usually say on there as well. For example, if you are staying at the Grand Floridian and you're going to Animal Kingdom, um, the sign on the front of the bus will say... Wilderness Lodge, Contemporary, Grand Floridian, Animal Kingdom. Wilderness Lodge, and it rotates through every place it's going. Yeah. Um, but our, I didn't see any buses like that. Mm -hmm. So getting around was It was fine. totally fine. Yeah. The, um, like you said, there's two bus stations. They're right next to each other, right in the front of the resort. So because the resort is so small, you don't have to walk a long way to get to the bus stop. Yeah. What else would people want to know about in a review video? This is a chatty review video.